What's going on folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tack Bits. Long story short, a system died and I inherited another chip. An Intel i7-3770 today. We are going to put it in uh, that budget computer I just made and see what the difference is between it and the E3-1220. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy to be swapping out heat sinks. Check out that one. That thing is so freaking small. That's what she said. Anyways, it makes a lot of noise because it came from uh, a server. It didn't have a lot of you to work with, so this thing plays loud. This new fan ought to calm down that noise a little bit. Yeah, I had a feeling I might have used a little bit too much grease in that uh, thing last time. It might be a bit much. Well, that really sucks because um, the thread pitch didn't match, so I can't use it. Back to the old noisy one, I guess. Okay, so I ran the benchmark again, and that benchmark is definitely not as good as I thought it was going to be. I mean, when I ran this thing before with the old Xeon chip in it, got a score of 2,400. This, C, this i7 is supposed to be twice as fast, that's what the Passmark benchmark said, but uh, it doesn't reflect in the overall so much, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, see, check it out. I wasn't lying to you. This i7 was supposed to be almost twice the speed as uh, the Intel Xeon, but it didn't really seem to reflect that well on the benchmark. I guess the benchmark is looking for more uh, quicker RAM, quicker memory too, because that benchmark is overall. So let's check out some video games next. So there is a definite difference here. I got it in performance mode, 60 frames per second. There definitely is a difference here, but I don't think it's a, a giant difference. And I'm starting to think that uh, a lot of video games really are completely GPU heavy. So, oh, oh, it actually rendered it really quickly this time. Maybe it, oh, it's coming and going, it's coming and going. Of course, I have this in performance mode, so it's not the best. It's uh, basically everything it can do to keep at uh, 60 frames per second. Let's go have a talk with the orb and see if anyone is man enough to meet me in the middle of the ring. Or woman enough. I mean, women have balls too, let's face it. Did you speak with the orb? Things are definitely looking a little jagged in Grand Theft Auto, but at least we get a whole 31 frames per second. I should say we got an R7250X card within this unit. But once again, we are pulling off about 30 frames per second. It definitely looks better than it looks like on my Xbox One. So uh, there's a lot to be said about that. So thanks for joining me this afternoon folks. Always love to do a little bit of upgrading and benchmarking. It's been a crummy night. One of those nights where it's best spent staying inside. Anyways, I hope you guys are all safe and warm wherever you are. And thanks for watching folks. Appreciate it. Have a good one.